And so if our relationship is not, doesn't mean enough for you, for you to make the necessary changes, then what are we doing? Whether we have a friendship, business, romantic relationship, whatever we're doing is not important enough for you to make the changes you need to make. However, you expect for everybody else to make changes when it comes to you. That's the thing that bothers me with people. People who think everybody else need to change but them. Those are the most manipulative. I have a friend that he used the word low down. Um, I can't say the rest of it. Those are some of the most low down people. You know, manipulative, you know, they only care about themselves and what they want, how they want it, when they want it. They'll do anything to get it. They'll hurt anybody to get it. They have no conscience whatsoever. None whatsoever. And these type of people, these are the type of people that will cut you sit back and watch you bleed out won't render aid to you won't even dial 911 they'll sit there and watch you bleed out those are the kind of people that you have to retaliate against as soon as you get healed as soon as you get well enough as soon as you stop your bleeding you have to show them no you you're not going to do this mm -mm. And I think sometimes when we are Christians, we get so caught up into, oh, I'm going to let God handle it. I'm going to let God handle it. Um, and I get it because I've said that myself. But sometimes... Some things warrant you taking some actions against the people. It really does. Because people like that, they, they do stuff like that because no one has ever stood against them. No one has ever put them in their place. You know, because most of the time they probably, you know, they're bullies, you know. And... They feel like they'll do their dirt and then they'll go into hiding. You know, that, like a coward. That's a coward move. So if you are a super, super nice person, if you have a really good heart and you're easy to take advantage of, I just advise you just to really set boundaries for yourself, set healthy boundaries for how people deal with you. Um, watch out for people who talk about everybody because just to show if they talk about everybody, when they leave you, they talking about you to somebody else. Um, just be careful because it's so easy to be hurt because of how your heart works. You know, your heart is just open. Your heart is open to people. Um, sometimes it's a good thing, but then sometimes it's not so good. Um, because of the fact that um, it makes you more vulnerable to people, you know. So, in my case, I have a lot going on that makes me super vulnerable, you know, and makes it easy for someone to um, get close to me um, and then take advantage of, the, of every weakness they see in me. Um, I've only had that happen one time. Um, started out as a friendship you know, um,
from what I saw, I thought it was an honorable person. But turned out not so honorable. Maybe I'll talk about that in a whole nother video. Um, but anyways, um, just set some healthy boundaries, you know, and start looking at people for their actions more, you know, because people can sell themselves to be really something when the truth of the matter is they're no different from the average Joe, you know. Um, they come off different because they're giving you what what they pried out of you that you want. So once they get tired of pretending, then you start seeing the real them. And um, because you can only pretend for so long, whatever's in you eventually will come out. So I just encourage all the good hearted people. You know, to stay strong. You know, don't stop being good hearted. Just do what you got to do. You know, if you got to set some people straight, do what you got to do. You know, if you got to um, set more boundaries and more distance, do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, you are responsible for your own health your own well-being, particularly your mental health, because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So you're responsible for you. And you don't want to go around broken and sad and hurt, you know. Now that person, that's what their intention is, to see you broken, sad, and hurt. But you don't live there. You don't dwell there, you know. Um, go to therapy, you know, talk it out. Make a video blog like I'm doing. Share your story. You know, I have a lot more to share. I'm going to be making small videos and uploading them to my YouTube channel and to my um, TikTok. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my um, Live Talk with Bonita Bradley YouTube channel and Live Talk with Bonita um, on TikTok. I'm the same on any um, platform you can find me on Facebook I'm um, live talk with Benita Bradley and my personal page is Benita Bradley on Instagram I'm live with Benita so you can find me on any platform um and I'm going to be talking about more I'm also going to tell the story about my 24 hours on the road trip um when I, went on, when I went on the road in a um, big truck. I'm going to talk about that next. Um, that was exciting. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, I have a lot more stories to tell you. So um, I hope I said something that can help somebody. Um, and just know being good doesn't mean that you have to be hurt. Doesn't mean you have to let people manipulate you. And it definitely doesn't mean you have to let anybody take advantage of you any longer. So you hold a key to your own happiness. And like I said, every now and then, you might feel the need to retaliate. I know I do. All right. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.